So today, Eco or Echo Coplips has finally made its global debut. Now, you would be absolutely forgiven if you thought this game came out like, I don't know, a year ago, because it did in SEA. But today, it's coming out in global. Now, the way you tell the versions apart is that the SEA version is just called Echo Coplips. The global version is called Echo Coplips, the Scarlet Covenant, right? So let's go ahead and jump on in and check this game out to see what it's all about, shall we? Quick, grab my my hand, my hand. <laughs> what you thought? All right, so here's your main character. You can be a male or a female protagonist, obviously. MG, bruh. Hey, I'm not a silent protagonist. Very cool. Bare cheeks in the snow. All right, so our first little taste of combat here is just gonna auto play out and just kind of show off some ultimate. So let's sit back, relax, check it out. There goes bare cheeks in the snow, girl. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> my girl can't even snap her fingers without bruh. Oh dude, wasn't even her final form. Okay, so tap to release my quantum fusion. Now this costs four points. It looks like, and I'm not sure just yet, but it looks like it's gonna be one of those combat systems where you have a universal shared resource meter over here as it builds up. You can cast skills. And in between time, your characters are just going to do their basic attacks, their special skills, etc., etc. Dude, here comes Meteo! So now that the intro battle is over, now we can actually use our basic team here. So, um, cases, I guess the characters are called in this game, will attack enemies deployed in the corresponding position. Attacks will build up rage and skills can be cast once the rage meter is full. So it looks like you're just going to attack across from your... Okay. So my main character is only going to attack this person, and then um, Snowy Booty Waifu is only going to attack the person in front of her. My Rage is full, Case will release a skill automatically. So even the ultimates are automatic here in this game. All right, so it's time for our tutorial single pool. So let's let that full summon animation play out. Dude, I got PTSD when it comes to uh, TV summons. Let's see, is it better than ZZZ? Uh, probably not. I would probably say it's a little bit worse. All right, so who do we have here? A little little furry waifu? So something we started to see a lot more in gacha games that I definitely appreciate is that when you hit that skip story button, you get a nice little story summary. So if you really wanna know what's going on, you can just quickly read through and find out what's happening. I like it. So leveling up your characters is pretty straightforward. You basically have EXP cassette tapes here that'll level up your character. And then you can also augment them by using augmentation materials. Um, and if you don't have the ones you need, let's check this out. A uh, quick battle, let's just say I need two of these. I don't know what that other thing was, but it does look like you have skip functionality with no skip tickets whatsoever, you love to see. All right, so we finally got the speed up options unlocked here. So this is times one speed. Here is times two. And then here is times three. And I'm pretty sure most of us are just gonna just turn this bad boy in times three speed, especially considering that you really can't do much in combat. It's mostly hands off outside of these like summon abilities, right? So checking out the seven day login rewards on day one, you're gonna get a two pull. You're gonna get a free copy of Finrear You, the SSR character here, um, a 10 pull here on day three. Oh, look at this, a bikini costume for free on day four, whatever this is on day five, some cash out materials, and then an SSR uh, selector ticket, very cool. Oh, now we're completely set, baby. Now we have auto battle. So we have times three speed, auto play. So the auto play is gonna automatically do all your summoner abilities down here at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And at this point, you're completely hands off, baby. Unless, of course, you wanna have a little bit more manual impact when it comes to, like this ability right here, for example, is a stun. So maybe you try to time a stun to like block a heal or something like that. But for all intents and purposes, for like 98.7% of the rest of us, do auto play all day. And even better than that, you can set the casting order so we'll take this one here that'll be my second thing i cast got it so first goes damage next goes heals and then after that a stun all right so i just unlocked a brand new gameplay mode and it looks like here you can kind of run around the actual game world i'm never too big of a fan of these but it does look like it has um some auto pathing here so maybe it's not that well, dude <laughs> what is this oh man do i have consent all right little, little thigh touch <laughs> i'm feeling healed too all right uh 
<laughs> what is happening? All right. Uh, I gotta heal her thighs. Her. <laughs> Ah, welcome, welcome to Gotcha Games, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I feel like I've come back to life. But as far as I can tell, this is like an RPG type mode here where you walk around, talk to NPCs, and, and touch random body parts and get more story. All right. Now, the reason why you want to do this gameplay mode, as you guys can see, each chapter has a specific character that it's tied to. So this is how you can farm memory bonds. All right, so I was feeling a little bit outnumbered in that last battle. So let's go ahead and do a 10 pull. So free 100 times draw. So it looks like um, as you do quests, basically, you're gonna get 10 pulls, right? So um, I just completed a few quests. We got a free 10 pull here. Let's see if we get anything good. Ooh, a little orange glow. Ah, <laughs> dude, oh, a little lolly, bruh. All right, well, we got uh, Camilla. Dude, I'm not even gonna try with some of these names. Sniz, Snizhana, S Snizhana. <laughs> All right, Gura, I got that. She looks like the lolly that I just picked up. That's just an R rarity character, Nico. These are all R rarities. Um, at least they all have live 2D. Luciferin, pretty cool name. Looks like she just had like a, a bag of urine with her for some reason. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Um, can I do another one? Yes, we can, bruh. Let's just go rapid fire as much as we can. I just wanna get, oh, Nightingale looks pretty cool. Um, but she's a healer because clearly she's wearing like a little nun top hat there right there dude So many lollies though. Oh, she's kind of cool SR. Oh wow that pose Some of the characters don't look like their live 2d is in HD like that last one looked like she was in SD But look at this dude <laughs> She's throwing urine at her foes. Oh, I like Sasha. She's only an R Bruh, I love this design here. Double shield and a sword. Shelly looks cool. Dude, all my favorite characters so far have been R rarities. I haven't really liked any of the high rarity characters, um, but let's keep going. Did I do all the quests required to do all of these multi pulls? Apparently so. Augustine looks pretty cool. Okay, getting there. Augustine, we're going to put her on the squad immediately. Let's see if there's anybody new. We'll go semi rapid fire. Oh my god, they get more lolly than lolly. <laughs> uh, okay. Very cool. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. So she's an SR. Oh, dude, she's a cow waifu. <laughs> I just saw. What, what are you doing, FG? Hey, hey, wait, hold on. Joe. Oh, she looks awesome. I like the golden, like, uh, birds in the back there. Okay, I'm dumb. Dude, I thought I was going to get all kinds of waifus, but I have to clear chapter seven first. And then once I do that, I can select one of these 10 pulls. And uh, yeah, I have no idea where I want to go with that. I do love this set pool here, but I, I guess I probably need to take one of these pools that um, come with an SSR that I like, plus a bunch of SRs, maybe. Okay, so I now have skip functionality unlocked as well. So like the, you know, the in-between, kind of like the trash fights that you go through, you can skip, but like the mid-battle bosses and the, like the boss fights, you have to like play out completely. You know what? I am fine with that. So you can see here, this battle's not important. This is just like a trash fight. Hit that skip button and you're done, son. You don't even have to wait. All right, so let's actually do a real pool so I can fill out that extra character slot that I have. Um, so there's two banners that are in the game right now. I guess we'll go for um, the Desert Dream, like, what is this, like a wheelchair waifu? Let's go for this. We've already seen the summon animation plenty of times. Dude, love Panther. Screenshot that. <laughs> like those claws there. All right, so I finally have a full roster, a full team of six. So let's do one more combat scenario here. <laughs> All right, so before we end this video, I just unlocked something called the daily 10 times draw. Every day you can claim a free 10 pool. What? I can? <laughs> uh, oh, hey, I'll be here every day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No way. Yulia, dude, Yulia looks awesome here. So I'm going to get a free 10 pool every single day. That is not too bad at all. And, and this is just and this is just forever. <laughs> you, you can just tell how skeptical I am, right? I'm like, really? Every single day, I'm just gonna get a ten pool in my mailbox, huh? Well, it says a free daily tin pool. All right, sounds good to me. So there you go, my friends. A nice little look at Eco Coplips, the Scarlet Covenant, now available here in Global Launch. My name is FG, and I'm out.